So we're coming up for, by Jeff Bezos, another cock-shaped rocket day. Or Black Friday, as it's frequently known. My spaceship does not look like a giant cock! Does it, Mark? No, it doesn't! It does look like a massive cock. It does. So I thought it'd be a good idea to go through my favorite smart home gadgets of 2021 so far. 2021 basically turned me into some Gollum-esque creature He is a postman with the presses and could only get excited when shiny things came through the door. But at least 2021 brought us some absolutely mesmerizing shiny lumps of soulless plastic to look at. We've seen everything from curtain rail choo-choo trains to Samsung's bot handy. Which isn't terrifying at all. And so without further ado, here are the top five sexiest soulless lumps of plastic that we've seen in 2021. Shelly sent me a couple of products this year. The first one is a light bulb the size and shape of my head. And the second one is this motion sensor, which was the first ever motion sensor to be able to trigger she that should not be named routines. And Shelly and I have a special kind of love for each other that other people might find a bit distasteful. Oh yeah, oh yeah, screw me. Screw me just like that. But there is a good reason for this. Shelly's stuff is special because you can get it to join your network without ever actually installing a Shelly app, making it one of the most private solutions on the market. Second of all, their products can be triggered using HTTP requests. This makes them the most privacy-based smart home gadgets on the market with the best possible redundancy. The whole smart home industry could come crashing down and Shelly's products would still be controllable within your home, without the cloud, using even the most basic of Raspberry Pi setups. But if you aren't super nerdy, they do the traditional app style setup too. So as well as the redundancy of HTTP control, if you aren't a mega nerd, you can install an app the same way as you can with any other product and use their cloud services to connect it to things like she that should not be named and Google Home. The initial connection of the products to their native app can be a little bit fiddly, but once it's done, it is one of the most rock solid setups I've had, and the app is one of the prettiest and most featured I've used. Link to the description are all of the Shelly products I've used and recommend, go check them out. In 2021, Flick became the first ever smart home button to be able to trigger she that should not be named routines. I use one in my dining room in place of a traditional light switch, and it turns on my Shelly light bulbs above the table, it turns on a Broadlink plug socket in the corner, and it turns on a Toyo Smart Life light that goes around my archway. This means that my missus can no longer ruin my smart home by pressing my light switch and cutting the power to my bulbs. The flick button can be single clicked, double clicked, or held, and each one of those gestures can trigger a different routine. The opportunities for control here are literally endless. <laughs> It can't do that. Nothing can. <laughs> but Flick are continuing to innovate, and this year they will be releasing a new product called Twist. Because my mate Amir apparently gets all of his product names from Bop It. Bop it. Twist it. In all seriousness, Amir is the founder of Flick, and he's an absolutely awesome dude. He got in touch with me and said, I'm gonna show you this presentation of all the amazing things this thing is gonna be able to do. And then he immediately said, keep your mouth shut, don't tell anybody. I can't tell you anything about it. Um, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, duh, it's pretty obvious what it can do. It's not, it's not. You wouldn't believe how far they've taken this concept. And when it finally gets released, you're gonna be like, mind blown. Like this. Squeeze that gag in every week.
<laughs> if you're interested in a super versatile smart home button that has local control, but also the ability to trigger Amazon routines, then Flick is the only thing on the market that will do that for you. And there are links in the description to where you can pick them up. When SwitchBot released their curtain robot, they literally released the most innovative product ever. The term is figuratively... Stop abusing the word literally. For £122, you can get two of these things and they take literally 30 seconds to install. Literally. Figuratively! They can be triggered automatically using the sun or a schedule, or they can be triggered using she that should not be named, Google Home or Siri shortcuts. You can also use a system that SwitchBot have dubbed Touch and Go. Something that I obviously found very funny in February. It's a bit of a misnomer because it's not really a touch. You have to give it a bit of a tug to get it to work, but I suspect the term tug and go means something else. Still, the option to do the job by hand is still there. Hand job. Bants. Banter. Do the kids still say bants? I don't care. They can be charged up and will last a super long time. If you don't want them to ever run out, you can actually get a solar panel option too, and they will literally last forever. Literally. Literally last forever. Literally. 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 <laughs> The Akara Zigbee range is probably my favourite kit, and that's because not only does it have this amazing build quality and a ridiculously low price tag, but it also has the versatility that not only does it have a beautiful ecosystem all of its own, but also that it works with Home Assistant. HOME ASSISTANT! He's doing that Home Assistant on He's doing it again! I hate it when he- WHY DOES HE KEEP DOING IT?! WHY DOES HE HATE HOME ASSISTANT?! I love Home Assistant. I don't, I don't know where people get that from. I think people think that I can't criticize Home Assistant and also think it's amazing. That's not true. I, both things are the case. And I love Akara specifically because I can move it to Home Assistant should the worst happen. If Akara fell through as a business, I would be able to use a Conbi stick, and I have bought one. I can prove that I like Home Assistant, I've bought a combi stick, and I'm gonna stick my combi stick in my Raspberry Pi and use it to be able to control and listen to my Akara devices using the integration that was created by the Home Assistant community. Akara have been around for years, but they've only released officially in the UK here in 2021. They are a subsidiary of Xiaomi, if you haven't heard of Akara before, and this means that they produce the most unbelievably awesome and very resilient devices for a ridiculously cheap price tag. And because they're Zigbee devices, the switches, buttons, and sensors all seem to have an almost everlasting battery life. And I can't tell you how happy it's made me to be able to replace my outside living room light switch with a battery-powered Zigbee equivalent. You merely adopted the Zigbee protocol. I was born in it, molded by it. When I first threw that joke out there onto the internet, Someone in the comments section said, did, did you just put your underpants on your head? Yes. Yes, I did. Hello, darkness, my friend. If you're in the market for a range of Zigbee devices, then Akara have absolutely nailed this kit. If you want it, links in the description. Govi are literally one of the best smart home lighting providers out there. FIGURATIVELY! They are literally one of my favorite smart home providers. Stop it! They do equivalents to Philips Hue and Lifex, and their sync box for TV lights is one of the best things out there today. I featured two of those products on the channel. An LED strip that fits around the back of your TV, and these awesome standalone lights. Both of them use a camera system to mimic the colors of the image on the screen, and then translate that into colors around the screen to give you a more immersive experience. And the results are actually mind-blowingly good. Govi's latest camera system allows you to mount the camera either on the top 
or the bottom of the screen, and although I'd rather not have a camera at all, it's still better than paying the hundreds of pounds extra for the Philips Hue equivalent. Govi also do a range of other products too. I think my personal favourite is probably this Lifex Beam alternative that they call the Govi Glide and is £80 cheaper. £80 cheaper! If you're interested in any of the Govi stuff, that is linked in the description too. These are honestly the best things to happen in 2021. This video wasn't sponsored by any of those companies, I am throwing them back out there because they really are that good and they are worth your money. If you want to let me know in the comments if you think there are better products than this, I promise to only delete the ones that mention Philips Hue. I hope you've enjoyed today's video, if you have, please give it a thumbs up, that'll tell YouTube's algorithms it was a good video and more people should see it. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button and ding that bell. If you ding the bell, it lets YouTube know that you want to be notified when I upload videos. These incredible people here are my patrons from Patreon, and without them, this video wouldn't have happened. This channel would not exist. I would not still be here doing this. I gen genuinely mean it. Every time I say it, every single week, I say they are the best people on the planet. It's because they are. If you want to be one of those incredible people, you can do that at either Patreon or buy me a one-off beer at PayPal, and either way, I will genuinely love you forever. These are my Facebooks and my Twitters and my Instagrams. Come and hang out there and we can be best friends. See you next time. In all seriousness, Amir is an absolutely awesome dude. He's the, flou the flounder of thick. He's the flounder of thick. This is the 10th take. They are literally, literally. <laughs> 80 pounds less. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I going? I stand up like, mm. <laughs> why is my head doing that? When Switchbot released their curtain robot, 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 mm -hmm. which should make them technically last forever. Literally. Figuratively. Figuratively. <laughs>